Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the Road to Glory. It is promo week. We have the Path to Glory players in packs, as you guys do know. Draft is going to be the way we're going to try and get them for the rest of the week. So we got Florenzi in the reward yesterday. It sold for 11.250. Um, also Gamero, Luna for 400. 200 for Coleman, so I've lost some money on him. Um, 350. Just your average price, you know, for some players, and uh, a lot of them will be selling as I've just relisted them uh, for Min Bin. So, if you guys do want MSP, PSN codes, or cheat game codes, go and check out g2a.com. Their link is down below. If you're trying to hit over uh, 3,000 likes, that'd be brilliant. And, guys, subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. So, if we look at no score, pop, score challenges and uh, relevant, it's daily objectives I want to look at because this might side me into which way I want to do this single player seasons. Argentina brace in a in any foot mode contract extension by a defender score a penalty with any player so hopefully that happens in the draft these two I can do in the single player seasons anyway and uh, basically guys we've got a free draft just to build win and hopefully take us over 1.5 million now in the current uh, format of the well woo um, should we go over free four for a uh, free free four formation? Um, I'm tempted to go five up two one two one two, but yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go with a five at the back. I'd rather five than three when we're building to win. Um, obviously we get messy as our first pick, which goes into right wing back, which takes a position away. Benzema's pretty good. Muller's pretty good as well. Eden Hazard got... That is annoying how, he, how they put him into the left back position. And I might need him in the five at the back as well. So, with that pick, where does it put him? It puts him at right mid as well. Uh, right wing back. Um, so, I'm going to go Benzema for this pick. In the cam position, Eriksen. Eriksen's a nice one. I'm going to take him. And then striker, Icardi, Musa. Oh, there's only one linker there, isn't there? Let's go with uh, with Musa for BPL. I don't know who I can get in Diddy. Dembele, Paulinho, Talisa. I'll go with that Dembele card. And then right centre mid. Vieira. Vieira, Kadira, Thiago. Probably either. Well, it's going to be either Sansom or Vieira. And I think I might go with... Vieira, even though he's not BPL picks there, so I can't really do anything anyway. Right wing back. Mounier. He's a nice one. But I think I'm going to go the BPL link there. Swap them all over. Um, put him there. And put him there. 47 chemistry. We're a little bit rough at the moment. A little bit weak. We're left back. Monreal. Uh, kills two birds of one stone, really, with the BPL link. Uh, Centre-backs now. PK, company. Company will be a good one, just for the link to Dembele. Hopefully we get PK again. What might... Oh, no. Macaulay, 33 pace. This isn't a good draft. This isn't a good draft at all. Um, Centre-back on the right-hand side, Murtasaka and Cahill. And that's going to be a given, guys. Uh, we'll go with uh, with Cahill. And then goalkeeper, just a BPL one would do. And we get Joe Hart and Begovic. I'll go with uh, with Begovic. 96 chemistry, but looking to take players out of the team. I don't really want it. Didn't really want to go BPL either. Uh, I'll go with Edison. Looking to replace that centre-back anyway. Fazio, Rose, Juan Fram. I'll uh, probably take Rose uh, on that pick. Next one. Aurier, Klein, Dyer. There we go. Uh, so, well, Aurier is a pretty good pick, but hopefully we get about right back anyway. And I'll go with uh, with Dyer there. Next one, we get the midfield pick. So we're looking to take out Vieira and Benzema now. Quadrado, Pastore and Chadley. I'll take that special card, Quadrado, for a super sub. We haven't really got... Oh, had you. That is a very nice one. Let's go with uh, with Hadji. I've not used him. Um, either takes us to 100 and if I swap them two over, it should work a little bit better with two players on seven and the rest on full chem. So that basically sorts it anyway. And a striker. If we can get a BPL striker, we do get Sako, but... Uh, 
I don't know. I'm hoping for better picks at striker. Lalana. He's a good one. I'll go with him as well. Next few. Perotti. Bufal. Let's go with uh, Bufal as a bit of an attacking option. And four more picks left to go. Sanchez. And I can actually play him at striker as well. Because he's in left forward. So I'll do that. I'll put him on there. And if I can get rid of Musa, that would be nice. But we'll have to wait and see if we can get another one. We've not had the silver picks yet. Oh. Oh, I'm messy. Now I'm going with Sergio. I think we had this link up last week. I think we had that link up last week. So I'll go with Hadji, Aguero, and Sanchez. We get Santi Gazzola. We get Isco, who's a nice card as well. I'll go with Isco. And then the final pick of today, guys. We actually haven't had a silver pick, but we have got a German um, in Kimmich. I think that's his first in form as well. And uh, let's sort out the... Uh, like, strikers do not need to be touched. That is a given. Um, and Kimmich. Could this be our new highest rated draft? Oh, yeah, I forgot I've got Rose as well, and I? I've got Rose, uh, who I'm going to put instead of Monmayal. Uh, there. We're actually a 185 rated draft. Sweet. So we go there. 100 chem, 185, and a lot of attacking front three. So let's try and get a BPL manager um, to finish off with. We get big old Rafa Benitez. And uh, that completes the draft for today, guys. So the aim of the draft is obviously to make money. We made some decent money last week. We're at 62 and 2. Hopefully, by the end of today, guys, I can go 66 and 2. But let's get into it and hopefully pick up a draft win altogether and get some decent packs and hopefully get a path to glory player. So, guys, here we are for the first draft of the week. Probably not going to be the last one, um, but I'm thinking about doing some away from YouTube where we just play them and open the packs on Friday. If you guys like that idea, feel free to leave a comment down below uh, just so we got some chance of hitting some Path to Glory players uh, when it comes towards the rewards. So the team started off pretty nicely, ball through here to Hadji. Hadji putting us 1-0 up in the second minute of the game. Very, very nice finish, and it's only the baby Hadji, I believe, as well. So um, could have been work, could no. Couldn't have been worse, but could have been better. And he played very well in the games we managed to have a play around with him. As you can see, fast link up here through to Alexis Sanchez. Sanchez holding the ball nicely, gets it down to Ericsson. Ericsson showing a performance type goal as he did last night against Ireland, making it 2-0 in the seventh minute. Looking for my opponent to push out of the game pretty fast so we could move on and get some more games in, maybe even some more drafts. But uh, obviously my opponent was for sticking around and it's mainly because of the fact that I made some bad defending here Aguero gets the ball bad touch by the defence Ban <laughs> comes back to him and he makes it 2-1 in the 20th mm, annoying more than anything inside the area ball through to Sanchez Sanchez puts it in 3-1 in the 24th minute now we are pushing for goals to get him out there like so many goals in the matter of uh, the first half and obviously my opponent was getting the odd one or two opportunities but wasn't getting the best ones 27th minute ball inside nice bit of skill over bounces out and finished by Aguero makes it 4-1 and uh, that was the trigger point for my opponent to leave the game so we're you basically using draft we're not using it to try well we are using it to try some players out that'll be uh, wrong for me not for, for me to say that but the main purpose of draft guys is to take advantage of the promo pack promo well, the special packs you get, the coins you can potentially get, I'm basically bolstering my coin total up. Now, um, one of the problems is, and you remember last week, guys, we took a, took an L last week, and uh, a lot of stuff is creeping back into my gameplay, which I need to get out quite a lot. So me playing this, it's very fast-paced, but it's nothing like uh, foot champions. But we do reasonably all right in, in draft compared to foot champions anyway. Ball through here, gets down um, to uh, Rose, Rose, Pass it back here to Hadji. Hadji to Ericsson. Ericsson with that nice outside of the area goal, uh, which you saw him score against Ireland if you guys did watch that game. So 1 0 up in the 10th um, minute of the game. Looking to push on through for some more. I think it's actually the second time we've come against a Celtic, in a Celtic kit in a matter of two games as well. Ball's blocked there. Bounces out again through to Alexis Sanchez. who gets a low driven shot into the bottom corner. And we make it 2-0 in the 15th minute. Very, very nice finish. And uh, doing the standstill uh, silhouette um, 
celebration uh, as we were pretty confident in this game looking to not let my opponent get any goals though 46 minutes directly after half time ball through from Dembele through to Alexi Alexi with the ball dancing waiting for the runners sees one behind him gets it through to Hadji Hadji rams it in 3-0 in the 48th minute and the dab is out trying to get my opponent to go but he wasn't going um, anytime soon so we were stuck with him then the fourth goal Hadji through to Sanchez Sanchez with the ball nice bit of skill um, which is just close dribbling the finesse into the far corner makes it four in the 50th and uh, that was the trigger point for my opponent well not the trigger point say so he actually waited until the 85th minute to decide to leave and you can see he goes for a tackle and then leaves so he literally played 85 minutes of a game he was never going to win and uh, gets on into it but Saying that, there is something in today's draft which I will talk about a little bit. Next opponent, Divock Origi, in form of Bamiyang, in form Rodriguez, Campbell, Goretzka, Tolisso, in form Hummels, Alaba, the uh, path to glory, uh, Varane, random left back and Farman in net. This guy was very, very capable with the team he did have. Even though in the 28th minute, guys, we caught him on a bit of a counter-attack. Nice one too. Alexis Sanchez somehow bundles the ball through to Sergio, who rams it in into the near post. 1-0 up. But my opponent was dominating the game, and that was totally against the runner player. Um, and you can see the nice passing, uh, patient play by him, guys. Hammers through to Bale. Bale rockets it right into the top corner. Keeper rooted, and uh, the game is back to 1-1, one, one. but some nice fast passing, Hammers through to Aubameyang, he smashes it in, 2-1 to my opponent in the 56th, and I was trying everything to claw back into the game, into the 62nd my opponent took his foot off the gas and allows us inside the area, Hadji makes it 2-2 in the 63rd minute, and the rest of the game was spent with basically us battling in the defences, whoever was going to break through was going to win the match as always and in the 83rd guys we are able to get a nice attack lucky there but a ball through to Guerrero a nice scoop turn and a brilliant sliding finish makes it 3-2 and sees us into the final of the foot draft for today very very nice finish from Sergio Aguero and uh, probably an undeserved win but we were going to meet someone harder than that guy you can see he had a lot a lot more shots we had a bit more possession um, but a tight game all in all our final opponent nine well 100 chem Ronaldo Messi, Cruz, Cazola and Vieira, the scare company, Koscielny, Kolasinac and also Danilo and Czech and I think that's Correa up front as well nice team substituted Correa off obviously for someone who I can't remember who it was and guys we were getting absolutely smashed by my opponent and Ronaldo we were lucky not to give away a penalty after that slide tackle there company picks up a yellow card for me not the boosted or anything just as normal and uh, from the resulting free kick guys Messi steps up looks to do it short we run out we block, save it there ball looks like it's going out for a corner but a good header Looking back at that, probably should let it go out for a goal kick or even a corner. And that uh, Cazola rebuilds the play, able to get it on the inside with some nice patient passing and uh, gets it over through to Ronaldo. Ronaldo makes it 1 0 in the seventh minute. That was a really, really gutting goal to concede but literally five at the back I was not able to get the ball into the midfield there was literally a gap there uh, but loads of gaps in my defence he makes it 2-0 just before half time we had to get a goal back fast otherwise we were going out and when I talk about my opponents trying to me trying to push my opponents out of the play this guy was doing the same because directly after half time Mane on the field now breaks on through gets a fake shot off down through to Ronaldo Ronaldo 3-0 yep yeah. We take a draft loss, guys, and guess what? It gets worse. But one thing you'll never see on me, uh, one thing me do is rage quit a game because I like to learn and I like to play against difficult opponents, but literally no coming back. The luck was not on our side either. 4-0 there as a deflection goes in from Lionel Messi. Um, but no disappointment. We're going to take L's. You learn from your losses, you know. And... Uh, I've learned a lot of things when it comes to draft. Never pick five at the back again, because when you're playing a good opponent, you are going to get smashed. We're sliding all over the place there. He makes it 5-0. Game over. A draft final loss, but let's see the packs. Well, guys, 5-0 smashing in the final. And uh, it was a mismatch of, I would say, a mismatch of formation and obviously player skill as well tried to pass it into the midfield there was literally no midfield there they were all like in my defense which was very very frustrating but i am curious to search this guy's game i always do it when i get beaten convincingly and this guy ty what is it ty ty totty so i'm gonna search him 
just to see if he's any good and uh, if he's like a G-Finity or something because if not, I've just been smashed by your average draw it looks like. Um, nothing comes up for him. Gutted. Absolutely gutted. But we have seen people pack amazing stuff. Guys, you can see we were slapped. Had possession but literally couldn't get the ball from defence into midfield to under attack. Uh, and a 5-0 loss. That takes us to our third loss. 65 and a 3. And we get a premium goal players pack and a goal pack um, for our... For our journey uh, through this draft, now we could get lucky. We could get a, a decent, decent bunch of players, um, at least some to fill the club and help us with SBCs in the future. We get. I think we got him yesterday, the other day, didn't it? Oh, Mario Gaspar, maybe not. Or oh, did I use him in SBC? I can't remember if I used him in SBC. I've not used him yet. And we also get that Mamana card, who's all right actually, and does sell for a little bit at the moment. Uh, so I can make some money on him. Gaspar as well. So they're the four players we're going to get rid of um, to hopefully make some coin. And the next one is a gold players pack um, as well. So literally no consumables. Oh, I was hoping to get some consumables, but that's not going to be the case. The one rare player is going to be a crapper by the looks of it as well. Lengler, is it? No, the Marchand. 76 rated as our rare. But at least we've got some non-rares to maybe do something in the future. Um, Englishman. A few, a few, and all them rare players to go. So it's looking like, guys, we have taken a loss, unfortunately, in this draft. Um, just because of the state of the things that we have uh, got in the packs. Then Docker sold, Suarez sold, he sold, he sold, even he sold, interestingly enough. And we've got all this stuff to sell for the next episode. So if you guys have enjoyed the video, I like it and we very, very much appreciate it. Remember to subscribe to me if you are not subscribed already, guys. And we'll be back probably tomorrow with another draft aiming to get one of these draft to glory, not draft to glory, sorry, these uh, path to, ooh, where there? Why is he worth so much? 1.6, 1.5. I'm listing for 1.4. Then I don't know why he's uh, why he's worth so much, but we'll get rid of him um, and we'll get rid of all that stuff, guys. So tomorrow, fresh new draft, fresh head. Let's get on with it and hopefully smash it and get back to winning ways because we're slowing down a little bit at the moment. But fingers crossed, we can get back on it and get some decent stuff.